Hi Libra, this is your February monthly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this monthly's reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X. Spread after that, we'll talk about your work, the business, and your finances. And at the end, we'll get you an advice for the whole month of February. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love in uh, February, we have the Three of Cups clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands clarified by the Hierophant. In the potential outcome, we have the Star with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. And we also have the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I'm pretty confident you're either dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or this is somebody you work with and uh, they are your coworker, your colleague, or someone like that. This person is definitely is somehow associated with the way you make your money. Okay. Libra, yeah. <laughs> so it starts off with the Three of Cups, um, clarified by the Ace of Wands. And uh, the King of Wands, it, the card in the middle is the person you're dealing with, right? The Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck is that same individual. And the Ace of Wands that the Three of Cups is clarified by belongs to the King of Wands. You see how both the King and the Knight of Wands are holding up a wand? That's exactly the wand we see in the Ace of Wands, right? Um, uh, yeah, let's talk about that Eight of Pentacles right next to the King of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances, right? So for some of you, this person is somebody you work with, uh, most likely somebody you already work with, or perhaps this is a new person starting at your workplace, and uh, you're all gonna go you know, to a welcome party or something like that, but uh, yeah, if they're not uh, somebody whom you work with, perhaps they are, they work in the same building, or perhaps they work for a vendor or a supplier, right? Then there's definitely some kind of a celebration coming up. The first card I came out is the Three of Cups. It is a card of a celebration. So for some of you, all of you could be going out for a happy hour after work. For others of you, say your vendor or supplier, they're gonna throw like a customer appreciation day because you're the, you, your company buys more than anybody else from them. It could be an Aquarius birthday party. Say you have somebody at work who is an Aquarius and uh, it's their birthday and all of you are going uh, for a happy hour or for dinner after work. This person could be an Aquarius, right? Um, or it's just somebody you work with. Like I said, the King of Wands right there is the person you're dealing with. So they could be a fire sign, or a Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. If they're not a fire sign, perhaps this is a leader, perhaps this is simply a co-worker or a colleague, right? Uh, someone like that. Very passionate, very fiery individual. <laughs> right? Then the yeah, the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Wands, this is you guys um, having a very interesting, very passionate uh, encounter, okay? Uh, most likely right after that party or a gathering with the Three of Cups, right? Or for some of you, perhaps you guys will have a conversation at that party or if event after work or work-related and uh, you'll decide to go out on a date, okay? I clarified the King of Wands, um, asking what is the King of Wands intention? How will they want to move forward? In what fashion uh, they want to move forward with Libra and the Hierophant showed up? A very positive card. Because <laughs> the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands, you know, these are all about passion, like I said. However, if it truly is a fire sign, then there is nothing to worry about. It's just a fire sign wanting to move forward with you. The Hierophant is a confirmation that you've got something awesome coming your way with this person, something long-term, because the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. Did I mention it could be a Taurus? I think, I don't know if I did. So the Hierophant is a Taurus card at the same time. And uh, the rest is history. Right in the potential outcome, we have the star with the two of cups and the four of wands. So, for some of you, this king of wands, if they are not a fire sign, they could be an Aquarius. Right, the star is an Aquarius uh, card, or all of this has to do with an Aquarius birthday, somebody you work with. But at the same time, the star is a card of a wish come true, something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. Then we have the two of cups. So I'm so glad to see that Two of Cups there, right? The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection. It is a card of uh, unconditional love. It's a card of when two people are on the same page, two people feel the same way towards one another. And uh, at the end of the potential outcome, we have the Four of Wands. And it makes total sense, right? Because uh, there is multiple cards in the tarot that, that could be interpreted as a card of uh, commitment to marriage. The Hierophant is one of them. And the Four of Wands is... Um, 
also a commitment to a marriage card. And it makes total sense, right? The Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, and now the Four of Wands. All right, the Four of Wands is often referred to as the 1111 card. To me personally, it always reminds me of an actual wedding or some kind of a celebration, but it is essentially a commitment to a marriage card. So yeah, I really like it. We've got pentacles, you've got wands here, you've got cups here, you've got the hierophant card. Um, looks awesome. So again, for some of you, like I said, it's it's going to be like a very passionate <laughs> encounter at first, and there is nothing wrong with that, if you ask me. Uh, but then it will kind of involve, it will transition. It's like the two of you will realize that it's more than just uh, passion that you feel towards one another. It will transition into the Two of Cups energy. It's not going to become boring or stale, no. But again, this is just a, a transition, you know. It will convert into something more loving, something more, you know, where people are in, enjoying each other's company all the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna do an extended for you, uh, Libra. Really happy for you. Congratulations, Libra. If you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Six of Cups. We have uh, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Wow, fire signs just love you, Libra, <laughs> in, in February. So you got this uh, Queen of Wands. Right, um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the, all other cards on the table, the remaining cards are all cups. I don't know how this person is associated to you, right? Um, it could be your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your significant other, your husband or wife, or it could be a friend, it could be a relative, um, somebody from your past, uh, for most of you, right? Or for some of you. The Six of Cups, I find the Queen of Wands, it has a card of a soulmate connection. So this person is your soulmate. For others of you, the Six of Cups will play out as somebody from the past, right? Then the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Cups, a lot of adult beverage consumption, all right? So I think you're going to be really happy to see this person, but at the same time, don't overindulge yourself on adult beverage consumption. Like, seriously, look at this. The Seven of Cups sometimes does come through as uh, overindulgence, right? The Page of Cups is definitely somebody offering you to... Um, have a <laughs> have a sip, right? Then the Nine of Cups often comes through as a card of a celebration. So perhaps it's a reunion. Perhaps you haven't seen this person in a while, and uh, you know, perhaps both of you know this person. You and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other. That is, if this Queen of Wands is not your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other. Perhaps this is somebody you used to hang out with when the two of you met, and this person is in town. It could be a sibling. You know, somebody you went to school with, somebody, uh, I don't know. You can always leave me in comment, let me know who this person is, if it's not too private, if it's not too personal. But again, lots and lots of consumption. So don't over, be careful. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, in uh, February. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Ten of Cups, clarified by the Empress. We have the King of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have Judgment, and uh, we have the Lovers <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, another Libra, or Aquarius, a Gemini in particular, but it could be any air sign. I said in particular because the lovers on the bottom of the deck is a Gemini card. I clarified a couple of times just to see what's up. Yes, this King of Swords really, really wants to get serious with you, or if, um, especially if they weren't serious about you earlier. The Ace of Pentacles clarifying the King of Swords is a golden opportunity. You know, sometimes this card comes through as a card of a proposal, and I see this all the time, Libra, when people think that the only way to get somebody back to is to propose to them, right? And sometimes it works, to be fair to those people, right? Um, the Ten of Cups, the first card that came out, I don't know, perhaps this is what they think they could have had with you, since this is the first card that came out, right? The Ten of Cups is a card of a commitment, marriage, family, and uh, the Empress clarifying the Ten of Cups is a, a mother figure or a wife or a significant other figure. So yeah, they perhaps they, they know for a fact that they messed up. This is what they could have had with you. They could have had a family with you and all that good stuff. And uh, here they are with that Ace of Pentacles offer. I pretty much never 
clarify judgment if this is the last card that comes out and yes as you can see judgment is here it was the last card that came out so judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past and at the same time I think it's going to be up to you you will have to make this judgment call whether you want to come get back together with this person or not and again the lovers on the bottom of the deck could be a Gemini you're dealing with or the lovers is a card of a choice all right, you will have a choice to make. You'll have to make that judgment call as to what you want to do. It all depends on, you know, how you see this. It all depends on whether you can forgive and forget. Okay, but uh, just in case you were wondering how this person feels about you, if the, their feelings are genuine, yeah, they 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 know they messed up, and uh, I think they do feel like they could spend the rest of their life with you. All right. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Libra, this month. We have the Ace of Swords, we have you, Justice, <laughs> clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Fool and the, the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Aries, um, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, or not a Libra. What I noticed right away about this um, spread right here is that, first of all, we have your major iconic card here, Justice, that is your major iconic card right and um, you know there's different cards in tarot as you know um, some of them feature one person some of them feature multiple people then there's cards that feature deities or animals or things like that right most cards on the table we have feature one person one individual there's one person in the justice card there's one person on the full with a dog right and there is the ma in the in the magician there's also one person and I think it's all about you, and it's all about a brand spanking new beginning for you, Libra, in February. It really is. This feels like um, a very enthusiastic, a very determined reading right here. And at the same time, you're taking a leap of faith with the full card. Right next to the deck, the full card is the card of taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, and that often translates into doing something you haven't done before. Some of you could be quitting your 9 to 5 and starting your own business. Others of you could be starting a new job and perhaps you haven't... Uh, this is something brand new, something you haven't tried before. But it is a brand new beginning. And you you feel really good about this, right? The Ace of Swords, the first card that out, belongs to you, Libra, right? You see how the person in the Justice card, like I said, that's you, is holding up scales in one of the hands, and they're holding up a sword in another. That's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords. Very determined energy. The Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning. The Will of Fortune, clarifying Justice, is the start of a new cycle, a brand new cycle. Okay, and the Magician on the bottom of the deck, you've got all the tools you need at your disposal with the Magician card. You really do. All right, and by tools, it could be your own skills. By tools, it could be people you've met in the past, you've networked in the past. Use those connections. Use everything you've got for this new beginning. All right, then you're going to be successful. All right? Cool. Here's the advice or a word of wisdom for you, Libra, for the whole month of February. We have the King of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Sun, the Eight of Wands, and uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So that King of Swords looks familiar, doesn't it? Right? It's the same person from the X spread. I did for you a couple of minutes ago. Right? Different deck. I use different decks for different spreads. Same person. <laughs> They're even clarified by the Ten of Cups. Alright? The Ten of Cups is a card of a commitment of marriage. And uh, on top of it, uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So it's like you're getting the best of both worlds with this person if you were to give him a second chance. Right. Um, let me explain. Like I said, the Ten of Cups is a card of a commitment of marriage. The Ten of Cups is a very emotional card. This card is uh, the happily ever after card. It's the best card when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. The Ten of Pentacles is still an awesome card, but uh, when both of them come out in the same spread, I usually, you know, talk about the Ten of Pentacles as a very practical, down-to-earth card. This is when people buy real estate together, they enjoy financial stability and financial abundance together. Just one of those two cards would have been awesome. When you have both of them, like I said, you're getting the best of both worlds. So I think the advice for you is to give this person a second chance. Alright, the sun in the middle could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the sun is the happiest card in the deck. You know, with the Sun card, we always feel joyful, happy, and on top of the world. The 801's right next to the deck. 
uh, is either a travel card or communication card, but my favorite interpretation of the 801 says the Cupid's Arrows card. Alright, so yeah, love, commitment, happiness, the King of Swords, think about it, there is only one major arcana card here, the Sun, and uh, like I said, it's the happiest card in the deck. Alright, so that's what I have for you, Libra, for this reading. For this month if this video resonates with you please like it please also share and subscribe and uh, other than that libra have an amazing february